Hi YouTubers, this is The Alric Show. Don't just watch, but subscribe and share for life-changing stories and stories to make you laugh. Like, subscribe and share. The Alric Show, inspiration, motivation. One vision, hope to a new generation. Together we can live and learn. Welcome to the Alric Show. Well, many of you already know him. He's known as the king of Caribbean comedy. We'll see him in Oliver at Large and so many other productions. Thank you, Oliver Samuels, <laughs> king of Caribbean comedy. Ah. Sir Samuels. Yes, sir. It has been so many years. I've been trying to get you mm -hmm. in for an interview. <laughs> when I was doing Love Zone days. How are you so busy? I am blessed, so I am always on the road, you know, um, and, and that's all I can say because yeah. I, it was predicted many, many years ago that I would um, dry up by now, mm -hmm. but it's, it's been 49 years. B but uh, 49 years in the business, but, yes. but, but also, Oliver, you look just like the Oliver that I know <laughs> or, or I'm from, from childhood days. How me do it? How you, how you do it? <laughs> well, let me tell you now. I live a very simple life. Mm -hmm. Very, very uncomplicated. I laugh a lot. I laugh at myself. I laugh at all kinds of stuff. If I remember Dasa, how could I forget Dasa? That's another big foot muscular woman who used to drive the back of Mr. Brown. You remember Dasa? Eh? Uh, right now on your shirt. I can see dream big. When yes. did this dream for you begin um, to, 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 to become the Oliver Samuels? All right. As Miss Lou would have said, Tori they fit tell, but long bench and they fit draw. Mm -hmm. But in a nutshell, I came from St. Mary. I'm a, from St. Mary. Mm -hmm. I was born on a banana plantation called Cremolesworth. And um, on that plantation, we never had any kind of sort of entertainment per se. Mm -hmm. So the adults would, um, like on the weekend, Friday night and all that, create them own entertainment and they like a picnic them. We would have the little like parochial road and we we do our have our own like mm -hmm. entertainment, you know. A moonshine, darling, and all them sort of thing. And we sing little songs and ring games and all that in the night. Mm -hmm. And, um, from there, I certain, I've experienced certain things in my life, and I've always said, me, nah, me can't stay in this for the rest of my life. You mean? You, you know, mean. yeah, because things like having to use, a, a, I call it a public latrine. Mm -hmm. Because there it was sectional. Well, it was just one section for women, one section for men, and then. So, and the, so an entire not. community on the plantation would use that one toilet. It, yeah, in that little community where I lived, would use it. And um, another thing that I hated very much is mud, and having to walk in a mud, and you 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 feel the mud I see through your, the spaces between the so two and So you knew from earlier that you had me to get no out. Me did any means necessary. Yeah, eh, me did have to get out. Mm -hmm. But my, the good thing is that my, my whole thing of getting out was that I said, well, if I go to school and I learn, um, I might get to go to, uh, go to Highgate, which was very near to us. Mm -hmm. That was our our little town, and then we might get like a work and all them sort of something. <laughs> but what were some of the lessons though? What are some of the deep-rooted, valuable lessons that you'd have learned while walking in those muds, um, mud, having to, to, to use um, the, 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 the toilet? What are some of the lessons that would have um, helped you to become the man that you are the in this main, moment? The main lesson was, this life is not for me. Right. In no shape or form, this life is not for me. I had to 
help my mother who mm. at the time was becoming ill and all them kind of stuff so but me still go school and, dad, and daddy was there on the plantation too yeah him, my father was kind of an absentee father mm -hmm. you know him, him did it but him not did it how many children were in the home um, the, as in for your mommy it was two of us mm -hmm. my brother and i um but my mother she's always taking on people picnic oh. you know but but two of us as a biological um brothers we, we were there. You're the, you're the eldest? No. Right. And um, so I, we worked, we helped to um, maintain our mother, um, medical bills and all like that. So certain, some days we don't go to school, we go to care banana, next year we go look about care coconut and all that kind of thing. What was it like in that family home? Um, w w with all the humor, I can imagine that th um, you have been this way uh -huh. since a boy. What was it like? Um, you, your, it was, was your mom also um, 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 hilarious, um, your brother? What was it like in that My, my mother was hilarious. But mm -hmm. then in, in, in the community, you see, mm -hmm. it was a fun community. You hear them talk about it takes a village to raise a child. Yes. That the village they really did raise a life picnic them. Yes. It was fun being going to the river, go get janga and your boil your pot and the marker is a result of, of the um, one of the pot them when we did a boil. The, uh, how, how, how that happen? <laughs> we go get janga, so I buy my janga soup. You know my oval tin pan <laughs> and look at you know, it must you know, it must a boil and look here as I take the knife and touch me seal it, you know, mm -hmm. and I cook. And as I take the knife, <laughs> touch it so you blow. And, and it explosion. It just mm -hmm. exploded in oh. my face. And I did have one cocky shirt and I take it and wipe my face and me did turn chicolachi. Me white the whole and me white. So this man was one of the water bombs. Oh. And I used my finger to, to distress it and it sank in, my, in, in the flesh. When you escaped so, the plantation life, yeah. what are some of the things that you started to do? Some of the jobs that you started to do? All right. When I, when I escaped the plantation life, I went to school. Because I, I was going to Rosebank Primary at the time. Um, and... So when I came out of that experience, I got a scholarship, but I didn't want to go to Dint Hill. Mm -hmm. But I didn't want to go because my mother at the time was she was really very ill, you know. I miss a boy, I go work. I go to medical work and support her. But she said, No, we had time to go. Wow. So I went. After Dint Hill, mm -hmm. I returned to St. Mary. Yeah, back to St. Mary. And I got a job on the 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 experimental farm mm. there and so i worked there as an assistant storekeeper for a while and i was there quite contented and then one evening two of my friends that i boarded with at dintel come and said no sir we can't live at home without you <laughs> so you need to get to kingston now exactly how so, did life change for you in Kingston? What started to happen? It wasn't so nice. It wasn't so easy. Mm -hmm. It really wasn't so easy. I returned to the country on about two or three occasions because me have to run back for Anton and go back to the country. But then I said, no, I can't. The opportunity no their country. All so right. I've come back at home. We take a break. When we come back, we talk more with Oliver Samuels about his journey to Kingston and how he became known as Oliver Samuels, the king of Caribbean comedy. Oliver, you're large, oh. Oliver, you're large. Welcome Oliver, back to the show. We're talking with Oliver Samuels. And although he's a public figure, he doesn't talk much about his private life. So this interview is very big for us as we try to <laughs> learn more. <laughs> as we try to learn more. Um, Oliver, mm. um, what would be your biggest joy professionally and personally uh, for you? Professionally, right. it was the experience of doing a Louise Bennett poem and she came and she said, thank you so very much. It is the best it has ever been done. What is the name of that poem? Um, our love letter. Mm. That's professionally, am I? Personally, personally, what's the biggest joy for you? <laughs> personally, um, the biggest joy is 
to see my, my, my children grow into adulthood. A lot of persons um, don't know that you have children. How many children do you have? I have four biologically, and like my mother, I have several, several other children. Mm. Several, enough. I mean, your children find you to be hilarious? They think you are um, hilarious in any way? Um, <laughs> Yeah, yes, but mm -hmm. them know when we get serious, be serious, mm -hmm. bad. Well, when do you ever get serious, Oliver? I do, like, um, I don't have any patience for stupidity, yes. really, it, from nobody at all, you know? And I don't like rudeness. Right. If you're going to be rude, I'm going to be ruder, you know? Uh, were you ever married? Never. Yeah? What, mm. what, what's about marriage that... Um, nothing, about, <laughs> nothing, uh, nothing about that, because I never was married. Right, you know? uh -huh. I suppose I was lucky to be married. Mm -hmm. And, uh, you know, I can't say I have regrets because I have known of situations where people really, really get into it and have such bad times. Right. E equally, so several people get into it and have an enjoyable, enjoyable life and think it's, a, it's the best thing that ever happened to them. Mm -hmm. But I don't know. Okay. So, so on, on marriage, do you think there's something that you'd probably do? At this stage of my life? Mm -hmm. eh? Yes. <laughs> In the dark winter of my life? No. Uh, no. <laughs> <laughs> right. So um, let's backtrack a bit. When mm. you moved to Kingston, mm -hmm. um, you started to do pantomimes. Yeah. <laughs> <Right>. <laughs> Actually, I, I uh, the, the little theater movement mm -hmm. established a drama school. Right. And um, I went and did an audition. May not even know what audition was. <laughs> but you know how I got to the little theater? Mm -hmm. and there are two friends of mine who, um, we, we grew up together and we, one, one went to Dintel with me. So they were going through the newspaper one day mm -hmm. and saw this thing about going for audition for the pantomime to join the theater school. And they drew, took it and come and say, hey man, I feel this. Yeah. So they took me to the little theater the evening and I did the, the audition. And one of my greatest down moment in my life was when, when the, the gentleman, the director, said, don't call us, we'll call you. I felt as though the earth opened and took me in. I, it was so... Devastated because I said I failed the audition. Mm -hmm. But about two, three days after I got a letter say I was accepted to go to the school. Mm -hmm. And so me going to the school and there comes pantomime after maybe a year or so. And with all these experiences though, then came um, Oliver at large. Yes. You are the man. Um, you are the Dan. Mm -hmm. right. Who are the um, Dan? <laughs> right. I mean, I I I've watched those series so many times. Mm -hmm. One of my better series is with you and Dion Silvera on the plane. When I went to Farin. When you're going to Farin, I travel <laughs> very, very regular. regular. <laughs> As I look for you, I know the first time you travel for a plane. Yeah, idiot. I travel regular. Very regular. What was that experience like for you? I mean, Dion is an excellent actor. Yes, yes. Right? Yes. What was that experience like for you? It was great, but I'd like to pay a tribute to um, Calvin Butler and mm -hmm. um, Minister Bob Zegrange. Calvin was behind Lime Tree Lane. No, well. no, 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 no. Calvin was the man who came to Jamaica. He, he, lived in, he lives in Canada. Mm -hmm. He saw me in Trevor Own Schools Out right. and said, um, but why, you're such a talented man. Why, why aren't you on television? Then he was telling Bob about how good I, he thought I was and that we should do a television series. Mm -hmm. And Babsy went to Gloria Lanaman then at the time, and um, that was how it happened. And was it a success? A, an amazing so We did about five vignettes, five minute things, and the entire island said they need a television program. What are you most disappointed um, with um, in terms of your career? Um, do you think that you should have achieved more? Um, do you, um, d did you ever want it to achieve more? Where, where you want it to go? Let me tell you. It's not a disappointment. Because I don't believe in disappointments. Right. It is not a disappointment. I wish I 
had done more. I wish the series had lasted longer. Mm -hmm. it, to date, it is the most successful television series ever done in this country. Mm -hmm. But um, there were so many things that we did not know. For example, the writer, Patrick Brown, that did so much of the writer, was not compensated. None of us were compensated properly. Mm -hmm. And I wish that I was able to continue with Oliver at Large or to have done another television series for the Jamaican people and, and people in the diaspora. Did you want to achieve a lot more? Though? Did you want to become that, 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 that Hollywood superstar, that Bollywood mm -hmm. superstar? Um, what prevented you from getting to that level? Or did you even want it to, 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 be, to become like the Denzel Washington? I don't know. I am quite happy. Right. In the, in, the, in the station I'm at. I, I, am, I, I am very happy. And um, a lot of these things that happen to people, them fear man thing, them fear them get to them aid them. I've got to take the drugs and all them. So there's something there. Me, me quite contented. I'm, and maybe people might say, I have no ambition because he, he, he could have been here, he could have been there. I am not there. Mm -hmm. I am here. And I am very, very happy to be here. We take a break. When we come back, we continue our conversation with Oliver Samuels, the king of Caribbean comedy. Oliver, you large. Oliver, you large. Do you want a boxer? Box me now. Do you think so you are helping me strike me? Try a box. <laughs> a box to take out and put in the things that are in the suitcase. Welcome back to the show. If you need a good laugh, then Oliver Samuels is the man to watch and mm -hmm. today he's here with us on the Alric show um mm -hmm. oliver I, I do believe that all of us we, we are here for a purpose yes yeah um do you believe you have identified what your purpose <laughs> is yes mm -hmm. <laughs> it's to make people laugh right that is my belief i believe that's my sole purpose and um if i'm to add anything is to be of assistance any, any human being that mm. I come in contact with, what, it, no what, matter what, who. But, but what does that do for you, um, eh? you, you, you? You're trying to solve problems, you're trying Alric, to help people. What does that do for you? You know, I've said to myself, mm -hmm. I am coming from a background where you can't tell me not about hunger. Yes. You can't tell me not about hardship in life. Even though my community was one that takes care of everybody. Right. I know it. And those are not, when you're hungry, it's not a good feeling, you know. Mm -hmm. Your eyes sometimes like it blind. <laughs> Your body starts to tremble and all that sort of stuff. Yeah, it is true. not. And uh -huh. if you don't, I don't have to know you. Right. If I hear you say you're hungry. And you have helped um, um, a lot of pe um, persons. I, I'm proud to say that, yes. Mm -hmm. If I hear you hungry, but I have to find some means of giving you something to eat. Right now, as we, we talk about um, COVID, I know it has affected um, the industry. Mm -hmm. How has it impacted you and your work? It has impacted me very, very negatively. Mm -hmm. in that we, uh, we were doing a, a, a production, um, Crazy But True. We were playing to full houses. And that's when, overseas? No, that's right here, here in Jamaica. Uh -huh. When um, the COVID thing come and we have to stop, we had at least 40 performances that people ha have already bought. Mm. We have to give them back, them, them deposit and all that kind of stuff. So, but hear this. If me and my, 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 my co-producer did... Licky licky and love the big life and all that. We could have eat off all them the money, you know. Mm -hmm. And then when people forget about the money, we don't have to forget them. You know, I said, my career done this so. up. But in this time, so many of the persons that I have come across that I have helped, me tired for them call, Grand Pizzo, um, you, you, they call him a grand pizzle? Some call me grand pizzle, some call mm. me, some call me um, lover, some call me teacher, some them call me a kind of Um You alright? I'm going to send something for you. I said, no, no, don't worry, I'm alright. Believe you me, some of them send and then call and say, go. 
I mean, if you do bad, bad will follow you. If you follow, yes. if you do good, good will follow you. Know, you. I totally believe that. When you begin to, um, to, to, to be on stage, though, um, how did you want to be? How did you want people to see you? How did? Uh, how, all right, in, in what way? When, when <laughs> you know, you started on stage. <laughs> I never knew that it would be so difficult. I I thought that you go on stage. And you do a show, you do a successful show, but you would, you could go about your business and nobody you know bother you. And it says that bother is, I'm not using it in a negative way now. Nobody no bother you, nobody no see you. When did you realize that you're famous? Um, I, <laughs> it's very hard for me to say yeah. uh, because it, me not, me not, me not, See this, I am known throughout the Caribbean, I'm known north and east and south and all, all over the place. If that is famous, um, it, it is what it is. Then you embrace it. Yeah, yeah um, I embrace it. I have a friend, one, one time I was saying to her, Lord Jesus, the people can't bother me and say, man, <laughs> I'm tired of bothering you, I'm going to go about my business and they tap me and bother me and bother me. So, and she said, look here, look here. Enjoy it. It come with the territory. And from that, it, it, it was kind of sobering. It's a blessing. Yes. Yeah? So I, I now take anybody, no matter if my teeth, I had me, the shoes, I have one on me, auntie, and somebody stop. I, be, I have to be chirpy, I have to be nice. And it's not hypocritical. It is from the heart. I am, I am because I want them to enjoy the rest of the day and enjoy the moment with me. What do you want to be known for. What do you want people to know you for? I will stick with being a great comedian. Right. You know, I, I, I am happy with that. I can act and I can do serious roles, but I enjoy being the comic actor do that I am. People really take you seriously when they try to do a serious role. Anyway. Um, uh, well, if you can't act good, they will have to take it. But they will, they will go and say, Lord, this was good. I never like it. Mm -hmm. I never like when, I never like you, not them, they rule they are. I just said, when I talk English, yeah. you know, I don't like you, not them, they rule they are tall. And that's the beauty about the Jamaican people, you know. You see them, Frank? Mm -hmm. Yeah. They're just true. honest, aren't they, you know. They tell you the truth, man. Oliver Samuels, I, I must tell you, it's a privilege to sit here and to talk to you. It, Thank you. It, 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 it means a lot for me. Thank you I, so I much. I appreciate it. I, I grew up watching you on TV, and here you are right now. Mm. So thank you so very much um, for allowing yourself to be here today and to give me this interview. Thank I appreciate you. it, my brother. All right. Social distancing. Ah. <laughs> Oliver Samuels, the king of Caribbean comedy. We have seen a lot of acts. He made us laugh day in and day out. We just can't get enough. We want to thank Oliver Samuels for sharing with us today on The Alric Show. It means a lot to me. The Alric Show will be back next week. Alric Show.